from Showhawk Media. This is Filmmaking Footnote with your host, Michael Hall. You're listening to Episode 4. This is the show where we give you the best filmmaking and production information so you can make the best project possible without having to spend a bunch of time or money at film school. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Filmmaking Footnote. I'm your host, Michael Hall. Thanks again for joining me for another great day. Today, we are talking about the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Uh, A lot of you will know this by their shorthand. They go by the Academy, or as a lot of people like to call them, the Oscars. So the Academy, the Academy Awards, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, is a really interesting concept, and it's an interesting group of people. Um, in recent years, they have had some uh, uh, some controversy, controversy. Um, a couple of years ago, they they were called out by a lot of uh, African American actors and filmmakers for not being very inclusive of of African Americans in a the awards process and B nominations. So as a whole, the the Academy has come under a lot of scrutiny in recent years. And then last year, in 2016, they came under scrutiny uh, even more during the award ceremony because they accidentally handed out the the wrong huh, the wrong best picture award or they gave the best picture award to the wrong group of people. They accidentally gave it to, I believe they, they accidentally gave it to uh, La La Land, but they meant to give it to Moonlight. Now I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of filmmaker friends and actually just friends who um, work in the industry or just like going to see movies for fun. And a lot of people will constantly, well, I hear people say, who like who has the authority to actually give these movies these awards? And I hear a lot of people say like, "Oh, these awards are meaningless. Like, art is subjective. Like, you you shouldn't be giving awards on um, you know a subjective piece of of art." And um, so I wanted to give you a little background on who actually makes up the Academy, where the Academy came from, and why it's actually important. Um, So the Academy was actually started back in the 20s. It was started in 1927 because at that time there was um, quite a few labor disputes happening in Hollywood between the unions. And uh, the, the, the head of MGM at the time, his name was Louis B. Mayer. And he wanted a uh, impartial, a impartial organization to to come into these labor disputes and be able to reconcile differences between the different between the different labor the heads of labor and different labor boards. So that was why the academy was initially formed back in the in the late twenties. They did not actually stick with labor disputes long. They quickly moved away from that because uh, unions could handle a lot of these disputes themselves. But the thing that that really came out of this organization, this nonprofit organization, was the idea of the Academy Awards and the idea that there needed to be a organization within Hollywood that celebrated the achievements of those involved in the filmmaking industry and community. And it's interesting because when you look at the roster of the people that initially made up the, the founding members of the Academy Awards, there's a lot of really famous people on this list. So you look at, um, well, I said Louis B. Mayer, um, 
who is actually if you know some something about film history he's pretty fa- he's pretty famous in my opinion uh Mary Pickford uh Sid Groman Jesse Lasky George Cohen Cecil B DeMille Douglas Fairbanks Cedric Gibbons um and Irving Thalberg Irving Thalberg that is who uh, the Oscars.com list as the founding members of the Academy. And these founding members, they really recognized the need uh, that there was in Hollywood to have a, as they called it, an awards of merit. And so that's where the idea of the Academy Awards really came around because they felt like they needed to have something in place to celebrate the artists in Hollywood. So initially, the Academy was actually broken out into five main groups or branches. And this has grown over the years, but initially the five groups were uh, producers, actors, directors, writers, and technicians. So like I said, over the years, this has this has actually grown and it's now up to it's now up to 17 branches of the academy so we have actors as of as of 2017 we now have actors casting agents cinematographers costume designers designers directors documentary executives film editors makeup artists and hairstylists music producers, public relations, short films, feature animation, sound, visual effects, and writers. It's a lot. There's a lot of different branches in the Academy. And um, there's actually a lot of secrecy around who is actually chosen for the Academy, why they're chosen for the Academy, and it actually came out in 2012 that of the uh, of the active 5,765 members, the academy at that time was 94% white, 77% male, and 86% age 50 or older. So you can see how this would be a problem, <laughs> um, and. The comments a uh, few years back about, I, I believe that the hashtag was hashtag Oscars so white. So you can see that that was actually not unfounded. Um, and the Academy has addressed this. And they said moving forward that they will, um, they will induct more minorities and more females. And this is obviously a good thing, you know. You want you want diversity in art celebrated, so that it can be amplified to the world. You know, these award shows. Like I said in the beginning, a lot of my friends will say, like, "Oh, the Oscars are so dumb," or, um, you know, like, "What is the real purpose of the Academy Awards or award shows in general?" and I get that. I, I think there's way too many award shows. But I think I think the thing with the Oscars is that it gives light to to a lot of films that wouldn't necessarily have the marketing budget or the push behind it to reach a wider audience. And when you have a stage like the Academy Awards where you are able to get small films with a really unique voice in front of a, a, a large group of people, uh, I think that's a really good thing. And uh, that's the biggest benefit I see with the Academy Awards is um, giving these small artists a, uh, a, a much bigger platform that they wouldn't have gotten um, if they had just been out promoting their movie. So in that regard, from my point of view, I think the Academy Awards are really important to give... Um, to give that kind of limelight to deserving artists. And I think, I think in recent years, um, I mean, especially since, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a young guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm 29 right now. And in my lifetime, I think that 
the Academy Awards has always been ra- uh, about like the glitz and glamour, which you know is fun. Like I know there's a lot of people into that, but I think that um, at the at the true root of it, it 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 is important for these for these artists to to have a bigger stage, and so that's why I think the Academy Awards are important. You know, like we have so many film festivals and um, other award shows, but like once you get once you get to the Academy Awards or um, have your film recognized on that stage um, that can really do wonders for, for you and your film. And if you're a minority if, or if you're a female, um, it's, it's really good that they're shifting towards uh, getting more Academy members who are uh, not just old white people, old white dudes. One other really interesting tidbit is that your if you if you are inducted as a member of the academy, your membership never expires. So if you're in, inducted when you're really young, you have a, a, a lifetime membership, which is really cool. Um, and that's that's one of my goals. I would love to be in the academy, even though I'm a I'm a white guy. <laughs> I would I would still love to be in the academy. Um, that would be, that would be a really, really cool goal in my life. I would love to do that. So really quick, we would love to hear from you. We would really, really like to engage with you guys and and get to know you. So if you get a moment, we would love for you to head over to the, the blog for the show, um, specifically for this, uh, specifically for this episode, head on over to filmmaking footnote backslash four. And we would love to know who is your favorite host? Who is your favorite Academy Awards host? I would love to know. Uh, I won't tell you mine on the podcast. You'll you'll have to go over to the comments to see who my favorite was. But I would love to hear from you. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, thanks again for listening today. Tomorrow we're going to get into some camera gear. So tomorrow we'll be talking about B camera and additional cameras. And what exactly that looks like on a on a on a set, and how you can actually use additional cameras and B cameras to make a really strong project. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>